Hey everybody, it's Lorena from Art Gaps, and today I am going to be showing you how to transplant your indoor plants. So we've all been inside enjoying our beautiful tropicals and we're noticing that they're not as happy. And so one of the reasons may be is because it's needed to be transplanted. So I brought my own personal fiddly fig from home, which has got beautiful new growth, so it is healthy. But I've noticed the leaves at the bottom are starting to turn and when I'm watering it, it's not retaining the water. So that is a sure sign that it's going to be needed transplanting. Also, if you look as well, the roots here are wrapping around. So this pot that it is currently in is way too small for the, for the fiddly fit. Now, when transplanting your plants, you don't want, like, I don't want to take it from this size pot and go into a monster pot because the plant is then going to go into shock. So the rule of thumb is to go two inches bigger than the pot it is currently in, no more than two inches. So to start, we've got a new pot here, a nice plastic one with lots of drainage that's important. I've got uh, the Art Nap Indoor Soil, which we make here ourselves. It's been rebranded as Homemade Garden. It's beautiful for indoor tropical plants. And a watering plant can because our plant is going to need a good water after it has been transplanted. So to start, I'm going to start by measuring how deep it is that I'm going to go into the new pot. So I don't want to go, like put soil, get it any deeper than like here. So I'll show you kind of what I mean. Um, so I'm going to measure it out so I don't want to put it like I don't want to sink it right to the bottom of the pot because the plant's not going to be happy. So I'm going to lift it a bit and put soil in the bottom. So have it up a bit like so. And also we're going to want to massage the roots because they're so compact in here that we're going to just give them like a nice little light massage here just to kind of wake them up and to encourage them to spread out here but as you can see this was very root bound and it needed to be transplanted all right there we go so we've massaged that out a bit i'm going to place that there for now and i'm going to use our soil and put it in a bit here now i know fiddly figs are quite finicky but this is one house plant that i can seem to uh keep alive and it's doing very well all right, so I've got my soil in at the bottom there. As you can see, I didn't go all the way, just that little bit to give it that boost up. Put my plant in. It looks pretty straight. And now I'm going to fill the soil around. Since it's a nice day, you can do your transplanting outside so you save the mess from your house. All right. Let us know what some of your guys' favorite indoor tropical plants are. Mine is definitely the fiddly fig. I definitely really like it. It's a cool looking plant. I also really like the rubber plant as well. I find it pretty easy to care for. Mine's been doing very well and it's very happy. And snake plants is another one that's super simple to take care of. They almost like to be neglected, so that's my favorite house plant. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we've got the new soil. We're gonna not go any deeper than what it was before. So I'm just gonna pat down here, get the soil all the way in. Add a little bit more, because when we water it as well, A little bit too much. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to give it a good water. You want to make sure that your first watering that you do after you transplant your plant is a good one. There we go. Perfect. And that is how you transplant an indoor plant.